My name is Joseph Long and I'm the director of the James Horn Real Estate Commercial. Three, two, one, action. So when James Horn reached out to Captive to make a commercial, he sent his own script and he gave us the freedom to uh, rework it if we wanted to. And I wanted something that was a little more fun and something in the vein of maybe a Geico or Progressive commercial, something with visuals that really stick with you. The concept of this commercial is a couple is trying to sell their house, but they've entrusted a shady businessman. And so James Horn magically appears on their doorstep and offers them his services and all the wonderful things that he as a realtor can do to get their house sold. Uh, of course, with a big project like this, you want to storyboard it uh, so everyone kind of gets an idea. Well, first, you as the director have an idea of how you want it to look and then to give everybody else an idea. The same type of shot, just in a medium close-up, but also... So with the current pandemic going on, it really changed the way we cast this particular project. When we were looking at all the submissions, I really had to pay attention to everybody's reel because I knew this project it had a lot of dialogue and I knew I wanted a lot of facial expressions reacting to things. So I really need to see who would be capable of doing that. And that's how I picked Trey and Kaya as our main roles. And Patrick was already in the bag immediately for the shady realtor, because we've used him before on other projects. And he's just really good at comedic improv and really just gets his lines right all the time. And he just had the right look and voice that I wanted. So Today I was under the sea Hawaiian cruises. Of course, James, as he's the selling point, he's not an actor, he's a realtor. It was interesting trying to find that balance. We knew we needed actors that could help carry the commercial alongside of him. And you want to make sure his dialogue was on the point of the service he was trying to provide. I mean, a lot of agents don't go above and beyond in our industry, but the ones that do really shine. And so that's what I'm trying to create here is just level up my business. Let me show you how it's done. Cut, nailed it. So this is probably our most set dressed and prop heavy production that we've ever done. It ended up being a two day shoot just because of the different locations. I wanted the house to look nice, clean, contemporary, and then the shady realtor's office needed to look messy and 70s and dated and just cluttered and full of stuff. The blinds on a real window actually had to be removed and put up on a C-stand with the light shining through that. So that limited the amount of space we had. And for the very last shot of the commercial, it's on a dolly. So that dolly track actually had to go into the office behind us through the door to be able to do that movement because the space was so limited. So all the stuff with the house was actually shot in one day. And that involved all the stuff with the couple talking to each other, James showing up, the dream sequence, his epic speech, and then a drone shot. Action. So we had to arrive on set at about five in the morning just to get everything set up. So as soon as the sun rose enough, we could do all the uh, dream sequence Hi. exterior shots. That was actually really good. Let's do it. Um, so are we switching this to do the stage? Three, two, one, action. The drone shot is a huge selling point. It's in the storyboard for when he says, to drone shots and video. And we were committed to that and I had no other uh, backup. It was right at the end of the day, so we were out in the middle of the hot sun and everyone was trying to get it together, but I think it came out pretty well. You guys ready? Okay, three, two, one, action. To drone photos and video. Originally, I wanted James to ride off into the sunset on a unicorn. That ended up not working out. Obviously, the logistics of getting a horse on the set. And so we compromised, and that's how I came up with the speech that he does about the wind calling to him. So we could go into widescreen, and as the screen gets wider and wider in color changes, it becomes very dramatic, but then immediately goes back to normal where he says, or feel free to give me a call at your earliest convenience. And I thought that would be a more fun and memorable ending. 
Yeah, I think we're gonna do that one. I think it's one of my favorite things I've gotten to direct just because I got to write it. The cast was great. Trey and Kaya and Patrick were all super game to do whatever. This was one of our largest crew projects as well. We pretty much almost had everybody from Captive on set. Cut. That was so dramatic. <laughs> I think that's what helped it become a success. The fact that James was so game to do anything for his commercial, I think, really helped. I think everyone just brought their A-game this time. Rolling three A. Scene three A, take one. I feel fantastic about this. This is awesome. I think it's one of our best shoots yet. I think this commercial really shows the level of uh, commitment and creativity that Captive Creative has. Now let's get your uh, wide camera. Make sure you can focus. I'm gonna put on the timer. Oh wait, I am recording. All right, hold on. Three, two, one. That is officially a wrap on your commercial, James. <laughs>